work from day one and just gonna um, be one with Greg having me. Were you a nose, uh, one tech? What? Um, nose, I can play nose, I can play one tech, I can play three tech. Yeah, not, I mean, four eye, I can play four eye as well. Um, Where did they I mean, play you mainly? Mainly um, one, one uh, what a shade, one tech or three, three tech. Yeah, I'm here with the Giants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's like, Informal. Like what about the Chiefs? Uh, yep, yeah, no, I haven't met with the Chiefs yet. I haven't met with the Chiefs. Did you root for growing up? Growing up, I was a Baltimore oh, fan, um, big Ray Lewis guy. So I'm um, always, always, um, I love, I love the Ravens just because I love Ray Lewis. Teams told you where they, you know, what draft range you might go with rounds or what day or anything. I don't know. I, um, no one really um, discussed that with me yet. Um, someone did say, um, could I play five tech? But I could. Um, I played before in high school as well. But I didn't play. I didn't play it at Mizzou. I just played four eye, three tech, and one tech nose, and like a head up nose. Terry, what's it like having so many Tigers here? And you've also fallen in the footsteps of some of the guys who've had success. Um, How does it affect you? Uh, it's grateful um, just to be oh. in this position. You like, um, you know, it's been a lot of Mizzou guys who came through here and been there to come by. But for, uh, for our class, my class that I'm in right now, for us to be six of us here, I um, know that's a big one. Um, Mizzou haven't had that, I don't, I don't think. Um, but it's it's truly a blessing, and I'm very grateful for it to be here. Um, have you heard from any of the Marcus Goldens or Sheldons or anybody about coming here? I'd have heard from I'd have heard from Marcus Golden, um, Charles Harris, um, Big Shell, and I heard from Sheldon as well. And um, I haven't heard from every, not anyone else. What did they say to you? Um, really just to take it all in, you know, it's a once in a lifetime experience. Make sure you go there, be confident. Uh, I, don't um, really I mean, that just know that you're here for a reason. A while, like, I what, did, did Coach Odom talk to you before you, you came, made the, made the move on, came up here? Um, yes, uh, not right before I came, but every, like all the coaches, every last one of them, they text me, tell me good luck um, on the week, um, and have a great week. And, um, they, they still keep in touch with me. So uh, we know that all the offensive guys were here, and they were talking, oh, we all got together. Did, did they include the defensive guy in that group, or did they just? <laughs> oh, oh the, uh, we did, because we came in on different days. So when, when I did first get here, I did. Um, I saw everyone. I saw Drew. I saw E-Man. I ran into Paul. And um, it was, it was, I ran into Kendall as well. And then I saw Therese, like the first the, like the first day that I got here, I ran right into him when I was going to go Maybe, um, to the uh, hospital. Uh, what does Coach Odom mean to you and the whole Missouri football program? Um, he's a great leader just for our program. Um, very tough-minded. Um, he's a very genuine guy. He's someone you would love to be around, and he's going to get the best out of you at any time. What's something you took from him that's really going to help you is through this journey? Really to fight through adversity. That was uh, one big thing he always really leaned on was um, fighting through adversity because, um, you know, Missouri would have been through some things um, at the school. but. Um, you know, everything happened for a reason. You know, it's a way much better now as a program. So I'm um, just being able to do that uh, for us from my injuries. He'd have had the same injury that I had probably, I think, three times. So um, just being able to relate to him in, in that sense um, was very big for me. So you called for targeting at one point in your career. The NCAA is talking about tweaking the rule a little bit to make it where when it's reviewed by replay, it's either confirmed or if anything's missing, it's full return. There's no ball stands on the field. There's no gray area. It's either it happened or it didn't happen. Not to revisit the play and re-legislate it, but just as a player who's called for target, do you think that that's a smart move in the right direction for, for things going forward? Um, it kind of it kind of is just because um, you know sometimes in them positions um, you're not intentionally trying to target someone. It's just you move into fast, you know, a big guy like me, I'm moving too fast and I can't break down to actually do a form tackle. So, um, no, it, it is a step in the right direction for sure. But, um, you know, just sometimes in new position stuff just happens because it's football. And, um, I mean, by all means, it's, it's just, it's football. It's just the end of the day. Has any meeting with teams stuck out to you so far? Um, not really. I just really taking them all in, really just trying to get to know the, um, the scout or the defensive line coach or the D coordinator, whoever I was meeting with at the time. What's the most interesting thing a team has asked you or something that they brought up that you were surprised they knew about? Um, nothing really, because everything that they asked me, I kind of knew that they already knew. So um, I already knew like, um, they're going to ask you this. So just make sure you be honest and um, that's just how I answer it. Did you do any work with Coach Manichino last year? Yes. What was he like? Um, he's a great guy. Um, Ted, he's pretty um, genuine as well. Um, we're going to stay on it. You know, he always just helpful at any moment that you need him. If you come to him and tell him that you need help, he will always reach his hand out and help you. Was there any 
there anything specific with your game that he kind of worked with you around here? Uh, nothing really. He told me to just some, a little bit with my stance for his third down, get a little more on my, on my hand, bend, a little, bend my elbow a little bit just to be able to push out and really get a burst out of my stance. Who's going to be the next uh, Terry Beckner at Missouri? Next to Terry Beckner, I won't say it's going to be a next one because everyone has their own type style, but Jordan Elliott, um, you better watch out for him for sure. Why is, about him. Why is that? He's a great guy, he's a great, guy a great dude on the field, um, one of the strongest fast dudes I came across as far as um, being that Missouri, for sure.